Hi, this is Swanner from Nail Stand for Fun. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful floral manicure using Moyu's Plate Pro Collection Extra Large Number no. 6. This is the image we'll be using for these two nails. And this image right here, we will be doing a double stamping with a holographic polish and a black polish. I have applied this beautiful soya color to all my nails. And for the stamping, we'll be using Rika's Black Polish in Blackout. And I'm going to show you guys how to apply the decal without a top coat. If you're very quick, you don't need the top coat, alright? Um, all you have to do is, of course, freshly paint all your nails with your base color. And as soon as it dries, you're going to start stamping. And here we have the image on the stamper. Now I don't, I am not going to use this part right here, so I'm going to try to take it off very carefully. Remember you can use tape too to eliminate that piece. Alright, and now we're going to start filling it in with color. I'll be using this beautiful holographic palette from Color Club, it's called Harp on it. to quickly fill it in. Okay. Okay. I'll be using this beautiful green color from OPI. Don't mess with OPI for the leaves. And we're going to let that dry. Now, while that is drying, we're going to stamp. Okay? Using the other side of the stamper. Okay, we're going to stamp first with the holographic polish. There we go. And now we're going to stamp with black. Okay. Now we're going to try to align it right next to the previous nail stamping. Okay. There you go. And we finished the double stamping. Okay. Now, by the time we finish that, it should be dried to the touch. Okay. And we're going to apply that to our middle finger. See, I'm not using a top coat. Oops. Still. Okay, yes, all right, great. <laughs> Thought it wasn't sticking on. All right, and there we go. So as you can see, you can also apply your decal to the nail on your freshly painted nails, okay? It just takes practice, you guys. Try it out, see which one you like better, with or without a top coat. But as you can see, it can be done either way. I'm going to clean up and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I just finished cleaning up and I applied my favorite top coat and that's it. Okay, before I end the video, I want to say a few things. In this video, I wanted to show you guys that you can also apply the decal without a top coat. 
You might have to be quicker, but it can be done. Um, just make sure your nails are freshly painted and freshly dried. Always um, keep an eye on your nail stamping decal. Remember that as soon as it dries to the touch to apply quickly on the nail. Okay, that's the trick I do and I also do one nail at a time. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about is the stamper because I know there's going to be questions about it. I purchased this stamper on eBay. I'm going to put the link down below so if you guys are interested in purchasing one as well, you can. I got it for $2.95 free shipping. It took three to four weeks to arrive so it does take some time to arrive. Remember it comes from China. But it's definitely a good stamper. You can see in the video how versatile it is. While I had the stamping decal here, I was also stamping. Now you do have to be a little careful when doing that, but it's definitely a plus. The material is similar to my black and white squishy stamper, so I really like that as well. The other thing you guys I want to say very quickly, I didn't have to buff it. So that's definitely a plus in my book. All I did was wash it out with soap and water, use regular dishwashing soap, I used Dawn, and I dried it up with paper towels. Then, with a paper towel, I soaked it in acetone and just gently wiped it off. That's all I did, and I tried it out, and it worked. So, remember when you purchase a new stamper, definitely try that out first, okay? Wash it with soap and water, and then pass some acetone over it with a paper towel and try it out. Now if you see you're still having troubles with it then you can go ahead and see my video I have a priming stamper with a nail file but remember you guys it's a smooth nail file. It's not a file for acrylic nails, it's not a coarse, it's not a medium file. It has to be a very smooth file you guys because all you want to do is just slightly buff it just to eliminate the shine. And yeah I guess that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.